Alright guys, my name is Meta Goblin, and today we're going to be going through the top 5 essential macros that every rogue needs for classic WoW. Just before we jump in guys, please do give me a quick follow on Twitch if you want to catch any of my live streams. So the first macro we're going to be talking about is a stealth macro. Okay, first of all, we have dismount, so that we don't have to manually, you know, right click the mount buff to dismount. So that's in there, so you just press this macro and it automatically dismounts. But the most important thing is the slash cast explanation mark stealth. Okay, what this basically allows you to do is, as you can see, I'm stealthed right now, and I'm spamming the macro right now, um, and I'm not, you can probably hear it, but I, I'm literally, I'm not coming out of stealth. Okay, and that's what that explanation mark does, it basically means that if you're already in stealth, it's not going to cast stealth. Why do you think this is useful? Okay, so there's a number of situations where, for instance, you're resing because you're just being ganked and you need to spam the stealth key. And sometimes if you spam it a little bit too fast and because of latency issues, you can be popped back out of stealth because you spammed it so fast. This prevents that issue from ever happening. So this is an absolute godsend, particularly in world PvP and any PvP situation when, you know, you're in a rough spot and, you know, obviously popping yourself out of stealth is an absolute you know, it's going to be detrimental to the situation. You may notice there are also some slash equip part elements of this macro, the only reason why that, that's not an essential part of the macro, you don't need that. The macro is literally slash dismount slash cast explanation mark stuff. The only reason why I have that is because I have a mount macro, whereas like whenever I mount I automatically equip carrot on a stick and my boots with mithril spurs on, so that's just like a bonus macro that I can throw in there, but that's not one of the ones I'm counting for this list. Let's talk about a second macro. The next macro is pretty cool, it is actually a distract macro. It's at show tooltip, use at cursor distract. So I don't need to manually press distract and then, you know, the little green circle comes up and then I need to use it again. I can basically use it instantly like that. Uh, you know, in one button press, Bob's your uncle, jobs are good and It's important to note that you can also use the exact same macro, uh, macro for grenades. So you know, be, be wary of that. I don't have engineering yet because I got the uh, skinning knife, so I am the guild skinner now, so I can't do engineering, but oh well. But yeah, you can use that with the, you know, stun grenades, which is ridiculously useful. So now we're going to talk about weapon swapping macros. So obviously the main issue with being playing a rogue is that ambush and backstab require daggers for you to actually use the abilities. However, you can basically totally remove that issue by using weapon equipper macros and having a dagger in your back. So as you can see, it's just ambush uh well we'll talk about the pit pocket part element of this macro later because that's a separate macro but equip slot 16 16 is your main hand um and then obviously that is my my dagger weapon and then it casts ambush so like as you can see right now ambush is not highlighted and it's moaning at me because i you know I, I, it requires a dagger in the main hand if i just press it then there you go, the dagger is in my main hand, Evan I can use it, and I have the exact same kind of setup used for backstab, and then when if I pop out of stealth, and I obviously need to use sinister strike, obviously using sinister strike with a main hand weapon, you know, a normal, like a sword, a slow sword is better, I, you will notice that if I press sinister strike, then it automatically swaps back to my main hand sword, you know, to optimize my DPS, and as you can see, it's there. I also have start attack on the sinister strike, uh, at, uh, macro as well, that's important to know, because that's basically your auto attack macro implemented into the macros, or you can put that in, in uh, you know, a few macros, but do bear in mind that um, if you put it into stealth openers, do, do not put start attack into stealth openers as a side note, because you will probably start attacking the enemy before you actually use your stealth ability, so that is something to bear in mind. But I'm going to quickly show you this macro in action. It does work extremely fast, um, even though you are swapping weapons, so if I just spam it, there you go, it just happened there. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and now I've obviously swapped back to my main hand as well and then I'm going to get killed by these so let's uh, move on to the next macro. The next macro is a very cheeky macro okay you may have noticed there's a slash cast pit pickpocket in my all of my stealth openers so ambush and cheap shot and basically what this does is it it doesn't work 100% of the time but it does work kind of most of the time and what it will do is it will just quickly cast pickpocket when you're, you know, doing your stealth opener, which is a really cheeky way to make a little bit of extra money pretty much every time you go into a stealth stealth opener, every time you open combat. It's important to note that you will need the auto loot feature active on your character in order for this to work, so that you can pretty much loot the mob instantaneously without pressing anything. For an action, it is a bit finicky, like it's a bit temperamental, but, you know, sometimes you go into combat and it kind of, the, the loot that you get is delayed. It's very strange how it works, but 
more, more or less, you know, half the time it does actually work. The trick I do is I, I spam it like kind of before I'm in melee range. So if I spam it now, and the loot might come up. I think that time it didn't work, so I'll try it again. And there you go, it did work that time. You can see that the loot did appear on the uh, chat window, but uh, for some reason it like it comes up later than when you are um, actually engage in combat. So yeah, it's a little strange, but like it's something to just add to your stealth openers for the chance of you making a little bit of extra money now and again. So the last macro I'm going to talk about is a general mouse over macro. So as you can see here, I have it for gouge. Do bear in mind that if you you know gouge and off target, you your combo points on the current target will be totally reset. But nonetheless, this works really good for kick. I have a really good kick macro here, which will basically use it, but also announce the mob that you actually kicked. So that that is obviously quite useful. So let me let me show you this in action. I mean, like imagine I'm like attacking this mob here. This one comes into combat, I don't want to really deal with that mob, and I, I can just quickly gouge it on the mouse over. And jobs are, jobs are good. And I should probably set this up on a... Oh, actually, no, you can't do it for kidney shot, actually, can you? But yeah, you can literally set this up for any spell that you find it useful to do. I also have it for blind, so I can, I can show you that quickly. Like, I'm not targeting, and... Maybe I don't have it for blind. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. I thought I did set it up for blind, but obviously you can set it up for blind as well, and that, that will be really, really useful. You can use this uh, generic macro. Basically, all you do, my my recommendation is you press Control a Control c alright, we press new, uh, blind, and then we pop this in, get rid of glad gouge, type blind, save, done. And, uh, and then we, I always forget to put it on my bars, but let's put it on my bar. And then, let's try this again. There you go. That target is blinded. And uh, that's pretty much everything I can tell you today, guys. And uh, I may as well end the video there. So, my name is Metagoblin, and until my next video, ciao.